Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff D. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast. Welcome to the weekend. It is the last of May, the first of June, <laughs> and the second week for, of course, Farmer's Market in the Park, right yeah. here on Arnold's Park Amusement Park. Chrissy Teeson is here with us today as we are talking about the second week, my friend. Uh, and I understand, I had to be in Des Moines last weekend. But I understand you just had a just blockbuster. It was crazy. Opening, yes. I don't think I think it was a record breaker. A lot of people ask me how many people came down. And I'm like, if we could count them, <laughs> just say we a lot. would. <laughs> yeah, but I um, a lot of the vendors said they had record breaking days and just the amount of people. I mean, me trying to get down the street with the kids, I you could hardly get down. Yeah. Which I mean, good and bad, that, that, right? You want people to be able to get through, well, but yeah, yeah and you it want was those both. new vendors to go, wow, this is awesome. They did. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So. Well, let's talk about tomorrow morning. Yeah. Uh, uh, things are supposed to be nice. We kind of had a little <laughs> rain earlier today, but now it's kind of clearing and <laughs> warming up. But, yes. But uh, tomorrow morning, 8.30, cowbell yeah. rings. That's right. So 8.30 to 12.30 tomorrow, we have Central Bank as our sponsor, and they're always a fun time, so yes. they'll be down. Um, we have Lakeside Lab for the kids' activity. They're great, too. And then Boone and Lambert for live music. So one of my favorites. They're, they're Actually, just two like of my favorites. Just two of them. Warm <laughs> and fuzzy feeling down yes. here. It's a good vibe. So yeah, we yeah. love it. Very good. Yeah. And uh, of course, like we said, we got all these vendors, local businesses, bringing their goods in, some handmade, all locally produced, made, and so forth. Yeah. And uh, just a great way to kick off the weekend, isn't it? It is. And you know, when we say local, I, I, I try to clarify it because some people are like, are they all in town? I'm right. like, no, you know what? Some of them drive a little bit, but they're, most of them are within an hour or two. Yeah. And I still feel like that's pretty darn local <laughs> yeah, that's given today's local. Like, <laughs> environment with economics. Yeah, you, like, <laughs> you can go a lot further out to get most something. Things get shipped in yeah, so that's right. I think it's still pretty local and for the most part they are here in the lakes area yeah. but we just have a couple that come a little further yeah, but yeah. And, and we're glad to have them they I bring think so too. the more there is the more there is well and we like to have a nice variety you know and that's something that we work on too is yeah. making it a niche market meaning not the same thing over and over right. and over at every booth so. yeah. yeah yep that's exactly right uh, so like we said 830 cowbell now are we still doing the the yoga yeah, yoga on the boardwalk. Well, it's it's right off the boardwalk under the Ferris wheel. Okay. I have to clarify. It's, <laughs> it's near the boardwalk. But you do. You look right out on the water, and it's such a peaceful well, spot. I would know if I actually went and did it. So. One of these times. <laughs> We're going to do a live. Oh, and you got all, you got all, yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all your kids involved, your family. It's yeah. just a, a wonderful experience, and I know you just have a great time doing this. Yes, it's yeah. wonderful. All okay. right. My friend, anything else for the good of tomorrow? Just come on down and enjoy. We do have some produce. You know, Ooh. people are wondering about that. I don't think the tomatoes are quite ready, but oh, <laughs> give them a couple weeks. And that's something, too. They're like, well, there's no produce. I'm like, it's... Mm. May. It's yeah. the beginning of June, but a lot of our vendors do have greenhouses. So yes. I know there's potatoes tomorrow. There's probably still rhubarb, asparagus, that kind of thing too. So oh, there's and the things produce. you can do with rhubarb and asparagus yes. this time of the year. It's so it's so refreshing after the long winter to have that fresh <laughs> exactly produce. Right. Yeah. Exactly right. So all right, we get going at eight thirty tomorrow morning. Chrissy, thank you for being with us. Thank you. Chrissy Teeson again here. Let's check in with Chris Swanson because we got Smash Mouth coming to the park <laughs> this weekend. Well, we got both Chris Swanson and a young man here with us is yeah. interning yes. and Chris. I like it's Grant Love. Grant Love. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. And Grant is uh, interning in the yes. in marketing. You'd yep. like to go into marketing someday. Yeah. 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 Wonderful. What do you like about marketing? I like learning about social media and just connecting with the, the community. Yeah. 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 And so, it's, it's fun to promote something you're really proud of right. as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so one of the things he's taken over this summer is we have a Preservation Plaza Facebook page. Yep. And it's not one of those that actually all last summer didn't even realize there was one. Uh -huh. and uh, But it had been generated a few years ago. And we put a focus back on it because there's so much happening out there. And so Grant's running that page and um, we've just been seeing the numbers increase on that. So he's going to keep doing that well, for the job, summer. Well, good job, Grant. Yeah. All right. And Esterville native, local yes. kid. And we're glad to have you here with us. Let's talk about the weekend because uh, tonight uh, up there on the uh, uh, Lakeview yeah. deck, you got... Mother Nature cooperates. Help us! Yes. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Uh, then we'll have Tim Horseman up yeah, there. Yeah, the piano man. Yeah. 
the local favorite yeah, guy he is. is. Uh, yes. He's just he's so entertaining, so fun, and he. I think everybody knows him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to find someone who doesn't yeah. know Jim Morrisman. <laughs> so if the weather cooperates, yeah. we will have him tonight up there. We do have a backup plan that maybe we would move him to Sunday, but let's. Let's just throw that out the window. Well, let's that, that's just, not even happening. Let, let's cross our fingers, yeah. our toes, anything else, yeah, your eyes, no. and you know whatever it takes. And I know. Yeah, because we just we did postpone up there. We're not going to open till we're going to take a look at two o'clock. And uh, it's one of those things when you have an outdoor feature like that yeah. that you got to go with what Mother Nature throws well, you. Well, just stay tuned to your Facebook pages yep. and, you and the preservation yep. page as well, and yep. uh, we'll see what happens there. But uh, looks like tomorrow, Jeff. I am so pumped, so I just like <laughs> I can't even keep it in. Well, you is, know? It, is there something yeah. tomorrow night? In the, in and the, the <laughs> weather <laughs> looks like it totally changed for tomorrow. Perfect. It looks like it's going to be absolutely gorgeous day. For one of the biggest concerts of the summer, for sure. This, I think this, this could qualify yeah. as one yeah. all-time here yeah. in the Lakes region. Yeah. So you, you go ahead and announce uh, okay. who it is, my friend. So tomorrow night, it's Smash Mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's not a tribute band. It's the actual band. Yeah. And uh, I tell you, these guys have been around for 30 years. A lot of music we know. Yep. Whether any of our, our kids or grandkids know with, with the Shrek movie that their their music was in there, and uh, they just released a new song, and it's a fun song, and they're creating a new album by the end of summer. So even after thirty years, they're still pretty that's cost, active. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. And I know you got transportation. Yep, it's it's gonna be heavy parking yeah. down here. Just yeah. accept that yeah. and, and know that it's gonna be fun when you get here. But you do have it's, opportunities. Yeah. yeah. So if you go, this year we added Arnold's Park City Hall parking lot. That's new this summer. And then we also have the Calvary Methodist Church. Start starting at six o'clock. Uh, the rides buses will be going. Just making a full circle. Mm -hmm. Just keep going throughout the night. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're going to drop you off right by the concert. Yeah. And yeah. then afterwards, drop you right off by your car yeah. again. Yeah. So, you know, it's easier than driving around the streets uh, here trying to find yeah. something, quite frankly. So yeah. it's nice. We. It's just one of those ways, if we can alleviate a little bit of the traffic flow, yeah. we'll, we'll let's do it. But I know it's not going to solve it. and. And please, people, don't get you know disappointed or mad at our security guards when they have parking blocked and stuff like that. Um, one of the things is, as acts become bigger, yeah. security is more important. Exactly. And so we just have to keep doing, broaden our security zone, and um, so it's just like everything else. The park does. You, you want to concentrate on safety to the yeah. utmost you can. Right. Yeah. And we. And have this to. is just another right. part of it. Exactly. So, that's the way it is. Yeah. And so. At Smash Mouth, we're going to make it up front by the stage. That'll be standing room only. Because yeah. I just want to let people might come early and try to set up their chairs and things. Just know that that fr very front area is going to be people standing. So if you want to stand, that's a perfect area. If you want to sit down, move your chair back just yeah. a little bit. You standing know. and possibly you know, dancing. Jumping, and yeah. 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 yeah oh, you've seen me then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots of good dancing. That's lots yeah. of good dancing. All right. Uh, other things for Lee Queen. Of course, the Queen too. She's a runner. I, you, I hear the roller uh, coaster. That's that's the one ride everybody's been wanting. And yes, she's running good um, and looking good. Yeah, it does. It looks so fabulous. Yeah. But uh, this weekend, the log flume. We just got a notice this morning. Uh, some BR thing busted. I, you can tell I'm pretty mechanical. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> It's, it was something important. I thought you were going to say some BS things, so <laughs> BR is even better, I think. <laughs> but it's something on the log flume. It just broke this morning, and so we're going to have to get apart. And uh, the bumper cars are still down. But okay. otherwise, we're up and going. The, the, it's a good feeling. Yeah, the legend's running. I mean, uh, that's part of the I park. Know. And we, we always talk about when, when it, we're in the office, we can hear the coaster running all the time, yeah. you know. And when you don't have that noise, you're like, it just seems a little different, yeah. you know? So we're glad it's running. We hear screams every now and then, and that's what we like. Well, I mean, speaking of uh, classic and, and long-time rides or events, whatever, here at the park, you have designed, <laughs> as a new marketer, a T-shirt for the Tipsy House. Yeah. And I, look, look at that camera right, right there, there and show the front okay. right. before going in yep. the Tipsy House. <laughs> and if you can turn around so we can see it, and you might have to come down yeah, a little just, bit. Just, yeah, there you go. There we go. 
and it's slanted after going in the tipsy house. Isn't that how people no, come true. out? Yeah. I know. He, Grant has a he has a fun sense of humor, you yeah. know. And uh, he, when he designed that, when he sh we showed it to the CEO John right away, he's like, "That I love that," <laughs> you know. It's He's, just something fun and whimsical. Uh, I, I hope you copyrighted it so you get a commission <laughs> at the end of the summer. So, all right. Well, Chris Grant, thank you for yeah, being here with you. us. Of course, ArnoldsPark.com, RoofGardenBallroom.com. You can find out all the information and check out the Facebook page <laughs> for the Preservation Plaza. Yeah. Grant's got it humming. Yeah. yeah all, right. all right. Let's have a great weekend. Yeah. Let's do. Jeff. You bet. All right. Here, historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park. We thank Chris and Grant for their time, and of course, we thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Have a great weekend. Woo! Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, A.J. Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. Be Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 